Hello my loyal companions and welcome to this episode of Rogue Revealed, the series where I take you through the new game Rogue Company and everything you need to and want to know about the game, from different characters to maps to weapons and anything else that you want to see. In this episode I'm going to be going over a character guide and for this Rogue it's actually going to be Daris. So let's jump straight into the video. As always, I'm going to go over his role within the game, different weapons, perks, and gadgets that he has. I'm then going to go over some different upgrade routes, which in this case I believe there are two main ones. And then finally I'm going to give you some tips on how best to play him. Dallas is an extremely versatile rogue who can be played in many different ways, from a quite aggressive rogue with certain weapons and perks, to quite a defensive rogue uh, who can stay on the back line and take pot shots at enemies to stop their advance. His ability is perhaps one of the most annoying to deal with, but he as a character himself is actually quite hard to pull off. More so than anyone else, his accuracy is what defines him, and if you don't have good aim, then he's really not the rogue for you. Generally though, he works well on both attack and defense as long as you can control his aim. Dallas is a former Texas lawman. Dallas is widely regarded as one of the best trackers in the world, and that leads on to his abilities. Starting with his passive, which is recharge, you recharge your ability upon downing an enemy. So, for example, you down an enemy, you get your ability back. That ability is Target Finder, where you reveal the closest enemy for a short duration. Now, reveal is a very strong mechanic in the game, and it completely highlights and outlines uh, an enemy for a certain amount of time. With Dallas, uh, it appears to be around five seconds. This, upon downing someone using his passive, will recharge uh, that ability to use again, meaning if they don't have any counter to that, such as uh, the perk Cloaked, then he can roll through the whole team, uh, detecting them nice and easily. This suits very well into his attack and defense playstyle. As for his weapons, his first primary weapon is the HRM30KS, which is a high-powered assault rifle, uh, and I believe it is the, one of the highest timed kills in the game. I actually will be doing a video uh, on this, so do stay tuned for that. Uh, but this is a very, very powerful assault rifle, and it can do a lot of damage, and if you weave headshots in there, they will absolutely melt. Um, as you upgrade it, you increase the damage range, you then increase its hip fire accuracy, uh, and then you suppress the fire and reduce its recoil for the final upgrade, uh, which is a very, very effective weapon. His second weapon is Devotion, which is a DMR, so basically like a marksman rifle. Uh, the Devotion is a savage lever action rifle uh, that does a lot of damage, 45 base damage to the body, uh, and I think about 68 damage to the head, uh, so two shot with a headshot weaved in between. Uh, as you upgrade it, you increase its bullet penetration, you then increase its magazine size and faster reload speed, and then you nullify its damage fall off. As for his pistol, he has the LW6 revolver, which I personally think is the worst pistol in the game. Um, I don't even bother upgrading it. Um, the upgrades, however, are the increased damage and then uh, increased hip fire accuracy and reduce of recoil. His melee weapon is the throbbing axe. It is a fearsome thrown weapon. Again, I don't really like the melee weapons in this game, but it can be effective if that's your playstyle. His two gadgets are an EMP grenade which damages equipment and prevents targets from using their abilities and gadgets for a short duration. This can be really effective and as you upgrade it, it increases that duration and then increases the gadget count by one. This is super effective against uh, rogues who are really reliant on their abilities um, such as a Scorch or a Shack. His other gadget is an incendiary grenade uh, which is a grenade that creates a lingering pool of fire. These are super useful um, and are one of the strongest gadgets in the game. As you increase it, uh, you increase its radius, and then you can find that credit for increased fire duration. His perks are what really make him versatile, uh, and I'll go through those for you. There's a lot of different routes you can go down. Uh, the first perk he has available is padded steps, which silences the sound of your footsteps when you're not sprinting. So by either any crouch walking or normal walking, um, that will make that completely silent to the enemies, although you will be heard if you sprint. His next perk is Berserker, which gives you the ability to reload while sprinting. Then Stalker, which removes the ADAR sight movement speed penalty, so you move left to right while aiming down just as quickly as you would uh, while hip firing. Next is Bounce Back, which re reduces your health regeneration delay, meaning you regain your health quicker. Uh, next ability is Headstrong, which uh, is the armor, gives you an additional 25 armor that does not regen. A uh, very, very good perk. And the final one is Replenish, which when downing an enemy reloads your currently equipped weapon and restores ammunition. Um, all really good perks actually. Uh, he's one of the few rogues who I would say every perk is super useful and this is what allows him to be a very versatile rogue uh, that can go down different upgrade routes. In terms of my ranking system for the perks, I believe uh, Headstrong is the best. Then I would probably say uh, Bounce Back and then it kind of comes down to preference but I would lump uh, Stalker and Padded Steps in the same category. Then um, you're looking at Replenish, then finally Berserker. All of these are, though, are very, very useful. Now, when it comes to upgrading Dallas, there's already two routes you can go. You can go the more offensive route or the more defensive route. 
Although this doesn't mean that they're just limited to being attacking side or defending side. Either route could be played on uh, depending on what side of the map you're on. It just depends on your personal play style or what your teammates have picked as their rogues as well. Both upgrade routes start exactly the same uh, and for me I don't tend to buy anything on the pistol round and save that 5,000 that you get. The reason for this is that I just don't like the pistols. And as you move into round two for both sides you can then get your primary weapon of choice and then round three you'll have enough to buy the armor, the headstrong armor perk which is really useful. Once you have those core three elements you're in the best position to start moving with Dallas. Uh, to his most effectiveness. If you're going down the aggressive route then uh, the weapon of choice really is the assault rifle and you should be focusing on upgrading that as soon as possible after you've got your armor. Uh, the reason for this is by the time you get the last upgrade with the sound suppression and recoil um, it's an absolute laser and it's a very stealthy weapon that allows you to move behind enemy lines and get good flank position uh, whilst also knowing where they are because of your ability. In terms of perks the most useful ones for this path is bounce back and um, the muffled footsteps um, because this allows him to be a bit more in the action, be able to heal a bit quicker if he is in a one-on-one -on -one engagement and also have silent footsteps to sneak up on them uh, really easily. If you're going down the more defensive route, however, your weapon of choice should probably be the DMR. And the reason for this is it's great at holding a long line of sight and holding a position because of its really high damage. After you've got your armor, I would probably say only two upgrades are necessary for this as the nullifying damage fall off isn't super useful, I found uh, in the game currently. Perhaps they'll patch it and it will be more of a factor. But at the moment, um, it doesn't seem to be playing too much. And in terms of perks, Replenish is a great one uh, as the DMR doesn't have many bullets and it has quite a long reload time. So being able to automatically reload that and have full mag after you've downed someone is really useful at just holding lines of sight even longer and preventing them from rushing you as you're reloading. Stalker is also then a great third perk to get because when you're aiming down sights, you move a little bit faster and you can strafe a little bit more easily. As for gadgets, EMP grenade or incendiary, they are both viable uh, on either path. Um, it just sort of depends on your particular play style, what you prefer, and also what the enemies have picked as their rogues, um, EMPs count as certain rogues better and um, if you have a particularly hard pushing champion then uh, an incendiary grenade to hold off that position and prevent the push it may be useful. Now that you've seen the two different ways of really upgrading him I'm going to go over some tips that I found that really help you play him. The first of these tips is actually with his accuracy which I said is really important on him and it's just take an extra millisecond or so just to line up your shot a bit more carefully. Your weapons do some of the most damage in the game and therefore getting your shots and hitting them on target means you'll kill someone quicker than they'll kill you in most circumstances so take it a little bit of extra time just to make sure you're actually hitting those shots you're not missing bullets will be really really useful because your time to kill is so short Tip number two revolves around his ability and it's actually not to use it too early. Uh, I see a lot of Dallas's as soon as they land off the thing, pop it just to see where someone is or potentially see where the enemies are pushing into. But you need to be careful that you only get information on one person. Other people could be flanking or the person you mark could be the flanker and um, your teammates could be going to the other side. This can actually really put off your pathing and your teammates pathing. Um, so just wait till you're actually in combat. You want to be using it to see where an enemy is in combat, see where they are behind the wall and wait for them to see where they peak. Uh, this allows you to pre-aim the corner really well and line up that shot. Honestly, using it too early is a little bit of a waste. My next tip for you is to actually be adaptable. As I said, Dallas is a very versatile rogue and you need to be adaptable to meet that. It's different play styles, as I mentioned, and different roles within the team, and you need to look at where your team is and adapt to that really carefully. For example, there's no point in you going the DMR defensive route if you already have a phantom on your team. Having two people looking down range really far is not going to be very beneficial because then your team can't cover the other angles as effectively. Likewise, going really offensive when you have a shadow a Ronan and a Scorch on your team as well may not be super useful. You just need to be able to adapt to the situation depending on what you think is best for your team in that circumstance. My final tip for playing Dallas is actually just to understand his weapons a bit more carefully. You have very, very high powered weapons, but they also have a lot of kick. And that means that you need to one, understand the recoil and two, understand that you really shouldn't hip fire. Um, this is something I kind of learned um, when I was playing him, particularly with the DMR, hip firing just isn't an option. The guns aren't stable enough, even with the upgrades, to hip fire effectively. Understanding his weapons means that you understand that they are built for medium to long range with high damage, uh, and that's the play style you need to play against. Well then guys, that has been my Dallas breakdown. I hope you've been able to take something away from it, whether it just be an overview of what the champion does, or whether there's been some tips there that have, uh, will help you improve your gameplay. As I said, precision and aim is key on him so make sure you are doing that the same way in my shack video i said that being able to frag out and be confident your gunplay is important with him being really accurate with dallas is what makes him excel you know he's a quite high tier um character because only good players are able to maximize him to the best way and the not so good players really fumble with him 
But guys, if you did enjoy the video, make sure you leave a like and subscribe so you don't miss more content and don't miss more Rogue Girl videos. Uh, and you can also follow me on twitch.tv slash raddargaming where I stream live and you can uh, come ask me questions. I've got lots of tips for you guys, so do make sure you check me out there. Thanks for watching and have a great day. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.